Hey yo, what Guam Popcom? My name is Diesel Weasel, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you the best tips and tricks to get you started right and grounded. Today, we're going to be going over things like the most important materials to analyze, the best starting armor, and an easy, infinite, clean water supply. So, one time, waste no time. Let's get right into this. So if you haven't figured out yet, you can switch from first to third person view. All you have to do is press down on the D-pad to bring up the radio menu and then select the top option, which will switch your perspective. Or if you're on PC, just simply press U. So once you're in third person, you can also adjust your field of view to pull the cameras back further to see the whole character or bring it up close for a more over the shoulder perspective. If you want a good weapon right from the start without having to pick up anything else, there's a pretty cool rotten lava blade right near the start of the game. You can find it here in this area of the map, but me being the good guy that I am, I'm not just going to tell you, I'm going to show you how to get there. So first off, when you exit your little starting tunnel, you'll see the baseball on your left. From there, you can look right above the grass and you'll notice the big laser, the, the you know, the laser, the one that you repair for your first big mission of the game. Head towards the front leg of that laser and pass it on your right and you'll find this uh, sappy little twig and a little dugout path and just past that you'll look out for this log right here. You see this log, that log right there. You're going to want to pass that on the right side. So you're going to be on the right, you want to be on the right side of the log, but be careful not to get too close or you'll aggro some mites on there. Or if you want to YOLO, just murder all the mites, you're choosing. So just keep going forward. Make sure you keep the log in sight so you don't stray too far out to the right. And at the end of the log, you'll come across like someone's half eaten lunch. But why they only ate half a hot dog and then ate all the apple, I have no idea. But right after the bottle cap, you'll see this brown leaf on the ground. And right under that will be the rotten lava blade stuck in a stone just like Excalibur. After you grab the blade, you can head to the nearby fuel station and analyze it so you can craft the regular larva blade, which does a little bit more damage and also adds a stun effect to it. One of the first things you'll need to do is start analyzing material. You'll get to analyze three times before you have to let the fuel station solar recharge. So the good thing is that it only takes one hour in game or two minutes real time to recharge one tick in the analyzer. So that's about six minutes for a full three charges. So your first three charges, you're going to want to analyze a pebblet and a grass fiber. And from that grass fiber, it'll let you craft a woven fiber, which you want to immediately then put into the scanner for your third item. From this, you'll be able to craft your beginner tools like your axe, your hammer, your shovel, and your bow, which will help you take down those damn spiders and like other big hostile bugs without, you know, having to get all up close and personal. So you'll soon start to find it annoying trying to pick up these little plant fibers, which is needed in almost every crafting recipe in the game. But an easier way to get a bunch of these is to use that nice axe that you just crafted to cut down some grass blades. But now you're like, oh, we do. It only gives me grass points for building. Yes, it does give you grass plants. But if you notice, after cutting down the grass blades, their roots are still stuck in the ground. You can actually chop up these two and it can give you up to five plant fibers instead of just one from picking up the regular stuff. And if you find a dandelion and chop that down, it can give you even more plant fibers. So I always just chop down a bunch of grass in the area for a full few stacks of uh, plant fibers and just convert them to woven fiber so it like saves up a little space. A huge material that will make surviving much easier is the almighty acorn. So either before or after you fix the laser, you can follow this path, but be careful don't go too far left unless you want to be smarter food. Take a note of this area here because I'll be referring to it a few more times in this video because this area will be a hot spot for where you want to be gathering like a bunch of mats and you just want to do it safely and it has a good amount of stuff in this small little area here. So first you'll find these big acorns that you'll need to break open. So make sure you have your hammer handy. Grab the tops and the shells but make sure you don't forget the acorn bits dude. These will be your best source of food in the beginning because it only takes about four to fully restore your whole hunger bar. Now you'll want to analyze the acorn shells which will unlock the shovel to dig up grubs and allows you to unlock the storage chest blueprint so you can store all your materials so you don't have to carry everything on you. And it also unlocks the best starting armor in the game which brings us to our next tip. Now 
Are you tired of being ambushed and one shot by that damn spider? Yes, I know the feeling. A full set of acorn armor will take care of that though, cause like wolf spiders won't be able to one shot you anymore and it'll leave you with like a quarter health if you're like at full bar. So this armor also gives you a set bonus too called uh, Uncrackable, which lets the armor take a lot more damage before it needs to be repaired. So to craft a complete set, you'll need a total of six acorn shells, five mite fuzz, 11 woven fiber and four sap and if you completed the mission where you had to fix the laser already you should have way more than enough fuzz to complete all three pieces of the armor now you can run around like a badass pseudo wudo akatsuki toby the next thing you want to build with the acorn parts is the shovel this is what you'll need to gather grub material so you can make that canteen and carry water with you so for the shovel you'll just need two sprigs one woven fiber and an acorn shell so in the same area I showed you for the acorns, you can find an abundance of grubs. Just look out on the ground for something that looks like it's tunneling underneath, like uh, uh, graboids, like you know from that movie uh, Tremors. No, you're too young. Oh, okay, never mind. But if you do, <laughs> let me know if you've seen that movie in the comments below. I love that movie. So <laughs> use the shovel in front of uh, in front of the path, and the grub will pop out. But don't worry, the grub won't attack you but it will burrow away if you don't kill it in time but it only takes about two or three hits to die so that shouldn't even be a problem a good rule of thumb is to always keep your head high always be on the lookout for dandelions you know the the little plants with all the fuzzy white tops and hanging droplets of water like there's always a bunch of water on the underside of tall grass blades and you don't even have to cut the blade down to get the water all you have to do is just hit the grass and the water will fall you just punch it and that's it same goes for those little pesky uh aphids too if they run up a leaf you're trying to kill one and they run up there all you need to do is hit it and they'll fall down and you can just cha 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 murder them Speaking of aphids, that brings us to our next tip. If you manage to catch one, you can analyze the meat you get from it to unlock the aphid slipper blueprints. These slippers will give you a boost in movement speed which not only help you get around the map much faster, but also help you get away from those damn spiders, because they definitely cannot catch you when you're wearing these shoes. So this here will be your best source of clean water I could find on the map. This is the same area where I showed you the acorns and the grubs. And like I said, this area is a real hot spot. So you might want to think about building your base around this area. You can also build it up high up there with the uh, lantern so you can stay out of the way of all the crawling insects below. If you walk up this tree root, you'll see a leaf that's bent like slightly upward and drops of clean water like regularly fall from what I'm assuming is heaven right onto the leaf and roll down to collect at the base. Uh, it'll pull up at the end of the leaf and then fall down to the bottom there where they, all the acorns are. So if you come by here regularly, you can always find multiple drops of water. Some of them you can even interact with two or three times. So you can either drink it or store it in your handy dandy grub cantini. And that'll be it for this video guys so subscribe and stay locked for more grounded videos also look out for everything from base building guides to armor guides and even higher tier material guides because i'm in love with this game this is my new minecraft and i can't wait to see what the developers are going to be doing with this so if this video helped you out in any way shape or form make sure you don't forget to hit that like button and as always my name is diesel weasel that's diesel two l's weasel two l's why two l's i have no idea and have a great day peace